Down at the nanoscale, things are gloopy and there's lots of friction. This means particles stick together really easily, and if this happens again and again, new and complicated structures can be formed. This is called self-organization. Scientists have been carefully experimenting with different conditions to see what sorts of new nanostructures they can create. The results are astonishing. Here are some samples that I made under various conditions, but when we zoom in on the nanoscale, we can see that they are extremely different. So these ones remind me of the Eiffel Tower. They're really quite beautiful, these hexagons all stacked on top of each other, like, uh, like pyramids. We can also make other materials, such as really thin wires, uh, ones that look like pancakes, um, or ones that look like flowers. All these new structures have different properties. Soon, they'll be changing the way we live, from solar panels that we spray onto our roofs, to making computers and batteries so small that they're invisible. The materials we use have some severe limitations. Push things too far, they, they break. But nano-researchers are discovering ways around these limitations. Electronics is made out of silicon. And silicon is not very stretchy. Whoa. But we found a way to make electronics stretchy. When you put a really thin layer of gold onto rubber and you stretch the rubber, we found that the gold doesn't break. This is because when gold is just a few nanometers thin, it forms cracks, and these cracks actually allow gold to stretch. That means that in future you can take your mobile phone, stretch it, wrap it around your wrist, or even embed it in your clothes. Using the new materials made possible by nanotechnology, we could build stronger houses, tougher cars, and even make ourselves healthier. Medical researchers are already looking at using nanoparticles to deliver drugs or to hunt down cancerous tumors. I'm a, a brain surgeon. It's my job to treat patients with brain tumours. What we would love is some sort of nanoparticle that gets taken up into these tumours that allows us to identify where the tumour cells are. In the future, nanomedicines could patrol your body, hunting down diseases and zapping problems. Thank you.